Japan has become the fifth country to land a spacecraft on the moon. Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a preeminent figure in the scientific community, finds himself in a state of bewilderment when contemplating Japan's Moon Sniper mission spacecraft. Japan has achieved a remarkable feat by successfully landing a lunar probe, securing its position as the fifth nation in history to accomplish this momentous achievement. Japan has achieved the distinction of being the fifth nation in the entire world to dispatch a spacecraft to the lunar realm. The awe-inspiring technological advancements showcased at this momentous occasion possess the capacity to profoundly transform our understanding of interstellar exploration. That's not all. Dr. Tyson revealed that Japan's discovery had the entire scientific world in awe, as no unexpected such a feat from the nation, provoking a spirited discourse. It appears that Japan has been hiding something big from the rest of the world. Join us on a captivating journey as we unveil the enigmatic truths concealed by NASA and delve into the intriguing Moon Sniper mission undertaken by Japan that left Dr. Tyson impressed. JAXA Space Launch JAXA Space Launch, the precise landing of the intricately designed slim probe on the lunar surface, carried out by the acclaimed Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, on January 19th, was a remarkable and crucial accomplishment. Japan's astounding achievement has placed it within a small group of nations, consisting of only five, who have accomplished this extraordinary feat. The development of a small lunar landing experiment satellite began in 2005, marking the start of the path toward this incredible achievement. By 2013, SLIM emerged as one of the seven focal missions for the International Space Station ISS. Fast forward to April 2016, SLIM officially became a JAXA project, with Mitsubishi taking on the responsibility of constructing the spacecraft. The primary objective of this mission was to evaluate a novel landing technology, aiming to demonstrate a precise and accurate pinpoint landing technique that could revolutionize future space exploration endeavors. This pioneering project promised to leave an indelible mark on the trajectory of space exploration. SLIM's most significant achievement. SLIM's voyage to the moon spanned approximately four months, embarking on its journey alongside the Gray Imaging and Spectroscopy Mission, XRISM. Upon parting ways with XRISM, SLIM altered its course, setting its sights on entering lunar orbit. By December 25, 2023, it gracefully achieved lunar orbit, culminating in one of the most flawless moon landings ever observed. Moon landings historically grappled with the challenge of pinpoint accuracy, prompting the conception of the smart lander for investigating the moon. This innovative concept aimed to leverage cutting-edge technology for precise lunar landings. The outcome of this mission would determine if the space exploration community possessed a groundbreaking method for landing with utmost accuracy, not just on the moon, but on any celestial body. NASA and other space agencies had shifted their focus from merely landing anywhere on the moon to landing precisely at predetermined locations. Fortunately, on January 19th, the mission achieved a pivotal breakthrough as the lander executed an impeccably precise soft landing at its intended target site. This triumph marked a significant advancement in space exploration capabilities. Challenges in Lunar Landing The Challenges in Lunar Landing Power management issues arose despite a gentle touchdown of the probe. Due to an incorrect landing angle, the solar panel, designed to capture sunlight for recharging purposes, was oriented in the wrong direction. Consequently, slime was incapable of replenishing its energy supply. The ground team at JAXA employed alternative power sources and promptly dispatched two rovers to the moon for the purpose of examining and assessing the lunar terrain. Simultaneously, SLIM's multi-band spectroscopic camera, MBC, captured a few photographs. These snapshots provided valuable insights into the lunar terrain. Analyzing the data from MBC, JAXA concluded that the lander hadn't suffered significant damage upon touchdown, easing concerns. Opting to leave the probe on the moon, JAXA patiently awaited the sun's adjustment, which would align the solar panels for optimal charging. Notably, a lunar day spans 14 Earth days, underscoring the prolonged duration of sunlight and darkness on the moon. This temporal rhythm highlights the unique challenges and opportunities presented by lunar exploration, where time operates on a vastly different scale compared to Earth. 
Initially, JASA planned to operate the probe for a minimum of two weeks, relying on solar power. However, following the unforeseen crash landing, their strategy shifted to patiently await the conclusion of the lunar day. Once the sun's rays aligned with the solar panel's direction, JAXA could harness its power for the probe's operations. This adaptive approach showcased by the Japanese, mission underscores the feasibility of achieving precise landings on the moon. Moreover, it highlights the capability of executing gentle landings, a task even challenging for esteemed agencies like NASA. Notably during NASA's Apollo missions, landing accuracy was not a priority. Unlike JAXA's meticulous planning, JAXA's endeavor not only demonstrates technological prowess, but also emphasizes the importance of resilience and adaptability in space exploration. Consider Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin's experience during the Apollo 11 mission. They encountered numerous challenges while attempting to land the lunar capsule. Communication glitches with the base and multiple alarming signals indicated failures in the automatic landing systems. Armstrong had to assume manual control to navigate the module to the surface. Despite his efforts, they ended up in an entirely wrong location. Comparatively, SLIM's precision landing is a remarkable feat. Recent lunar landing attempts have often resulted in failures or crashes at unplanned sites. However, SLIM managed a controlled descent, allowing for the deployment of rovers. To illustrate, imagine a rocket losing one of its engines mid-flight. In the worst-case scenario, it would crash and burn, while the best-case scenario involves an emergency landing at a nearby location. Remarkably, despite losing a nozzle, SLIM still achieved a flawless landing on target. This success has earned Japan considerable recognition among nations exploring the moon. It showcases Japan's expertise and determination in space exploration, setting a high standard for future lunar missions. In the 21st century, only China has achieved a successful moon landing, sparking curiosity about why modern moon missions struggle with landings when NASA accomplished lunar landings 50 years ago. Many skeptics question this discrepancy, prompting scientists to propose various theories. One plausible explanation harks back to the space race era. During that time, the US and Russian governments fiercely competed to assert their dominance, leading to extensive investment in lunar exploration technologies by NASA, fully supported by the US government. Today, with no space race, lunar missions are driven primarily by curiosity or the desire for historical recognition in space exploration. Consequently, modern probes and vehicles often utilize cheaper materials to reduce costs. In addition, many landers are developed by private companies rather than government agencies, which can impact the quality of construction and materials used. This shift in dynamics underscores the evolving landscape of space exploration. When it comes to commercial firms, their lunar landers have faced a 100% failure rate statistically. The incident involving Japan's I space lander crashing on the moon in 2023 serves as a poignant example. Another challenge for landers and probes is the lunar environment itself. Communication proves troublesome due to the moon's interference with radio signals, often leading to probes landing off target. Moreover, the absence of an atmosphere on the moon complicates landing procedures. Unlike on Earth, parachutes are ineffective, leaving the craft's engine as the sole means of control. Pilots must navigate these challenges while contending with communication disruptions. If the probe is too heavy, a crash becomes inevitable. China's Chang'e 3 mission in 2013 marked the first successful soft lunar landing since Russia's Luna 24 in 1976. Previous attempts by other countries, such as Russia, have often failed. It became evident that a solution was needed to address these landing challenges. Fortunately, Japan stepped in to offer a solution. Their innovative approach promises to revolutionize lunar exploration providing hope for future successful landings and advancements in space exploration. Features of Slim Lander and its Rovers Features of Slim Lander and its Rovers Slim successfully deployed two experimental rovers and utilized as much onboard science equipment as feasible before its battery was depleted, despite its unexpected landing attitude. The rovers were named Lunar Excursion Vehicles, LEVs, due of their unique characteristics. The initial model, LEV-1, 
exhibited a hopping motion resembling that of a frog. The subsequent model, Elite V2, had a spherical appearance and transformed into a wheeled camera that swayed akin to a sea turtle on a beach. Remarkably, LEV-1 successfully received a test transmission of data using radio waves from its counterpart LEV-2 and engaged in communication with terrestrial stations. This achievement showcased the adaptability and functionality of the rovers, providing valuable insights into potential future lunar exploration missions. However, JASA has yet to receive any images from LEV-1. Instead, it was LEV-2 that managed to capture an image of SLIM on the lunar surface. Interestingly, the image revealed that SLIM's thrusters were positioned upwards, contrary to their intended downward orientation. Both rovers currently remain in standby mode, patiently awaiting the return of sunlight to power their systems. Calculations suggest that the lunar day will conclude around January 31st, signaling the resumption of activity for LEV-1 and LEV-2. It's worth noting that the construction of the SLIM spacecraft incurred a substantial cost of 18 billion yen, equivalent to $120 million. Initially weighing 200 kilograms, its weight increased to 700 kilograms when fully loaded with fuel, essential for powering the thrusters during the landing process. The development of the LEV-1 and LEV-2 rovers presented significant financial and technological challenges. LEV-2, now renamed SORA-Q, epitomizes this complexity. Weighing just 0.25 kg, it stands as the smallest and lightest rover ever constructed, comparable in size to a baseball. Developed through a collaboration between JAXA, Sony, Tomy, and Doshisha University, SORA-Q integrates toy technology, sensor robotics, and space technology from JAXA. Designed for autonomous operation and adaptation to the lunar environment, SORA-Q represents a remarkable feat of engineering. Shinichiro Sakai, SLIM's project manager, emphasized the groundbreaking nature of the mission, stating, we've proved that you can land wherever you want, rather than where you can. He expressed hope that this achievement would inspire future Japanese missions to explore uncharted lunar territories. Undoubtedly, this technological advancement signifies a triumph for Japan's space agency, potentially paving the way for the exploration of the far side of the moon by probes, rovers, or even astronauts. Influence of external force. Influence of external force. JAXA has established a long-standing partnership with NASA, indicating that its groundbreaking navigation system could be extremely valuable for future NASA missions. This cutting-edge technology will undoubtedly be included in the Artemis mission, which aims to return humans to the moon. Regrettably, JAXA engineers were perplexed when SLIME encountered a significant obstacle on the moon. Specialists were astonished by the unexpected occurrence of SLIME falling face down despite their diligent attempts to design it for a vertical landing. Numerous individuals possess their own hypotheses regarding the potential causes of this incident. Until this mystery is unraveled, future NASA missions face uncertainty. Understanding what transpired with SLIM is crucial for ensuring the success of future lunar endeavors. Currently, the circumstances surrounding SLIM's landing remain shrouded in mystery, prompting intensive investigation by JAXA and NASA scientists the resolution of this enigma holds the key to unlocking the full potential of lunar exploration and ensuring the safety and success of future missions. The JAXA probe was meticulously designed to achieve a precise landing, employing innovative features to ensure a soft touchdown even at higher speeds. One such feature was its legs, which were equipped with crumple zones, akin to the safety mechanisms in modern cars, to absorb impact energy and guarantee a gentle landing. The designated landing site for this craft was a specific area within the Sholi Crater, distinguished by its 15-degree slope. JAXA engineers calculated coordinates down to minute fractions, aiming for 25 to 4889 degrees east and 13 31549 degrees south. Remarkably, the probe landed a mere 55 meters from the target point. This location was chosen strategically to maximize sun exposure, vital for the probe's operations. To accommodate the slope of the landing area, the rear legs of the probe were intentionally designed shorter than the front legs. In addition, just before touchdown, the vehicle was programmed to execute a precise 45-degree flip, 
ensuring a gentler impact regardless of its weight. The probe was equipped with two Mitsubishi engines and 12 attitude control thrusters, a configuration typically seen in lunar probes to facilitate smoother landings. These thrusters played a crucial role in controlling descent speed and maneuvering during landing. The landing sequence was meticulously planned in two stages. First, the landing thrusters and a smaller thruster would tilt the spacecraft, followed by the activation of five crushable aluminum lattice landing legs to cushion the final impact. Despite meticulous planning and advanced engineering, the probe unexpectedly landed on its nose, perplexing scientists with an unforeseen outcome. Speculated Theories about SLIM's unexpected orientation The unexpected outcome of the probe's landing ignited a whirlwind of speculation and conjecture, not only within the scientific community but also beyond. Some pondered the notion of external forces at play, musing over the possibility that something beyond human control influenced the probe's descent. Others dared to delve into the realm of extraterrestrial involvement, imagining scenarios where beings from beyond our planet interfered with the mission. The mystery surrounding SLIM's inverted landing position introduced a new layer of complexity to the mission, leaving JAXA scientists and engineers scratching their heads as they attempted to decipher the events leading to this unprecedented occurrence. Despite the meticulous design and careful planning invested in the probe, it seemed to have veered off course from its intended landing configuration, prompting profound questions about the lunar surface's mysteries. Speculations and theories concerning external forces or potential extraterrestrial intervention injected an intriguing element into the unfolding narrative, underscoring the necessity for a thorough investigation to unearth the truth behind Slim's unexpected orientation. While some conspiracy theorists, long fascinated by the notion of aliens on the moon, speculated about extraterrestrial involvement, such claims remained speculative, rooted in the mystery shrouding the event, with the facts remaining elusive and unknown. The scientific community at JAXA found themselves confronted with a truly unique challenge, necessitating a thorough examination of both the data and circumstances surrounding the mission to unravel the mystery of SLIM's unforeseen landing position. As the probe rested on the lunar surface, its solar panels oriented towards the west, awaiting the sun's return. JAXA's quest for answers intensified, adding layers to the unfolding puzzle. This pursuit of understanding not only piqued the curiosity of scientists, but also captured the imaginations of space enthusiasts worldwide. To truly grasp what occurred, JAXA hoped to obtain satellite imagery, possibly from resources like NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, offering a clearer picture of the situation. As we delve deeper into the mystery surrounding SLIM's unexpected landing orientation on the Moon, it's essential to acknowledge that the success of this mission holds significant implications for the future of space exploration, underscoring the importance of unraveling this mystery. Images Captured by the SLIM Rover 1 The New Images Captured by SLIM Rover After SLIM experienced an inverted landing and power failure, there was considerable curiosity regarding its method of recovery. The fortuitous development of the lander's contingency strategy was the incorporation of a solar panel, which has the potential to generate electrical power upon exposure to sunlight. The solar panel, unfortunately, did not get sufficient illumination due to its incorrect orientation upon landing. In anticipation of the issue, the JAXA made the decision to temporarily deactivate the lander until there was a change in the angle of the sun. As the western side of the moon gradually bathed in sunlight, the solar panel sprang into action, generating power and auto, meticulously restarting the lander. Yaxia swiftly announced their success in re-establishing communication with SLIM via the X social media platform and resumed operations. Additionally, the lander captured and transmitted new images of the lunar surface using its multi-band camera. One striking image featured a close-up of a rock, playfully nicknamed Toy Poodle by JAXA, situated near the lander. Another image showcased a mosaic of the lunar landscape adorned with rocks of various sizes and shapes, each bestowed with whimsical nicknames like Chopinuinu, Pomeranian, and Shi Tzu by JAXA scientists. These images not only unveil the diverse and intricate lunar terrain near the Sholi crater, but also offer insights into the location and condition of the lander itself. Remarkably, 
Slim's precision landing placed it just 55 meters away from its intended target, securing its place in history as the most accurate lunar landing to date. This achievement holds immense significance as it provides a unique opportunity for scientists to study the moon's mantle, potentially unraveling mysteries surrounding its origin and evolution, the future prospects of the mission. With the Moon Sniper Explorer now back in action, anticipation mounts regarding its future endeavors. JAXA provides insights into the current status of the lander and its probes, shedding light on the mission's expected duration and scope. As per JAXA, the lander possesses a limited amount of propellant, precluding the possibility of a secondary landing maneuver. Consequently, repositioning the lander, as previously suggested by some, appears unlikely. Instead, it will remain stationed in its current location, diligently observing and analyzing the lunar surface using its multi-band camera and other instruments. Notably, the lander is equipped with advanced tools including a laser multimeter, a laser rangefinder, and a thermometer. These instruments enable the measurement of various parameters such as distance, shape, and temperature across the lunar terrain. With these capabilities at its disposal, the Moon Sniper Explorer continues to unveil the mysteries of the Moon, promising further discoveries in the realm of lunar exploration. The upcoming endeavor is slated to endure roughly six months, concluding by July 2024, coinciding with the onset of the lunar night, when our lander faces the prospect of losing power once more. Notably, the two probes, once detached from the lander, continue their operational stride, maintaining communication with Earth. Positioned approximately 100 meters from the, the transmitter probe dutifully relays signals back to our home planet, while its counterpart, the mini rover probe, ventures about 50 meters from the lander, traversing the lunar terrain, capturing vivid images with its versatile camera that can shift between forms, from a sphere to a disk. The mini rover's tenure is anticipated to span three months, culminating in April 2024, as its battery wanes. Both the Moon Sniper Explorer and its associated probes aim to amass unparalleled insights into the lunar region proximate to the Scholey Crater, where the Moon's mantle lies exposed. This repository of data promises to illuminate the enigmatic genesis and progression of the Moon, juxtaposed against Earth's trajectory. Moreover, the findings may hold the key to identifying vital resources such as water and other elements pivotal for sustaining human habitation be it as potable water or potential fuel reservoirs, heralding a promising vista for future lunar exploration endeavors. Dark Side of the Moon The Dark Side of the Moon The Dark Side of the Moon, located on the far side, has been a subject of mystery, controversy, and conspiracy theories for an extended period of time. The presence of peculiar structures and constructions, coupled with reports of mysterious encounters with spacecraft from past lunar missions, have significantly contributed to the extensive chronicle of urban myths that propose the possibility of extraterrestrial beings. Among the most endearing tales is the belief that NASA clandestinely dispatched astronauts to explore the far side, where they purportedly stumbled upon the wreckage of an alien spacecraft. According to these rumors, the astronauts allegedly recovered extraterrestrial remains for analysis. However, NASA vehemently refutes such claims asserting that their last manned mission to the moon, Apollo 17, marked the culmination of their lunar exploration efforts. Despite NASA's denials, the allure of the far side of the moon persists, shrouded in enigma and prompting continued speculation about what mysteries it may hold. Solar power collection from space. Was the enhancement of planetary landing technology the sole objective of Japan's lunar mission? or were there additional considerations influencing its pursuit? Undoubtedly, the Japanese may have had the intention to explore the potential of solar power in outer space. The United States Orbit Agency has presented a research exploring the feasibility of harnessing solar energy in orbit and transmitting it to Earth via microwave waves. This innovative concept aims to establish a clean energy source. While the exact costs remain uncertain, experts recognize its potential benefits. If successful, space-based solar power could revolutionize energy production, aiding nations in achieving net-zero greenhouse gas emissions. This technology holds promise not only for the United States, but for any nation embracing it. 
Japan's mission to the moon, therefore, may signify a pivotal step towards realizing a sustainable energy future, showcasing the country's commitment to innovation and environmental stewardship. Harnessing solar energy in orbit presents a unique opportunity due to the absence of Earth's atmosphere, ensuring the reception of the purest form of sunlight. The notion of capturing such pristine energy and transmitting it wirelessly to even the most remote regions holds immense appeal. Space agencies like NASA and JAXA are actively pursuing this technology, recognizing its potential to revolutionize global energy distribution. SLIM solar technology has furnished valuable data, laying the groundwork for future advancements. However, skeptics raise concerns about safety and the exorbitant costs associated with developing and maintaining such systems. Predictions suggest that this conceptual technology could yield power at a staggering cost of 61 cents per kilowatt hour, far surpassing the affordability of terrestrial solar plants, which typically produce energy at 2 to 5 cents per kilowatt hour. Despite the skepticism, the prospect of creating the ultimate solar energy collector remains tantalizing. Yet questions linger about the practicality and true benefits of such an endeavor. Will it genuinely serve as a sustainable energy solution, or will it become another drain on government resources? Balancing innovation with feasibility is paramount as we navigate the potential of space-based solar power. Recently, there has been a surge of interest in space exploration, with an increasing number of nations venturing into lunar landings, evoking a sense of a new space race. Fortunately, JAXA's pioneering landing with SLIM promises to pave the way for future space explorers, regardless of their origin. In an official statement, JAXA expressed its commitment to prolonging SLIM's mission beyond its initial expectations. They emphasized the ongoing preparations for recovery, aiming to gather additional technical and scientific data. These preparations include readying for high-resolution spectroscopic observations, contingent upon improved solar illumination conditions, and SLIM's recovery through solar power. As we await SLIM's resumption of activity under sunlight, the space exploration community celebrates this significant achievement. It marks a triumph that will be etched in history, demonstrating humanity's collective progress in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Until then, the anticipation builds. With hopes pinned on the wealth of data, SLIM will uncover upon the sun's return, a testament to the boundless potential of space exploration. Subscribers pick Japan's Moon Sniper Mission. Helmed by Japan, the Moon Sniper Mission and the recent revelation of undisclosed information by NASA has consistently amazed experts in the field of space exploration. A perplexing and captivating event occurred on the Moon's desolate and expansive terrain. JAXA's meticulously engineered probe, SLIM, embarked on a mission characterized by meticulous planning and a clear objective. What is the objective? Successfully executing a gentle touchdown on the moon's uneven terrain would be a remarkable achievement, propelling the progress of space exploration to unprecedented levels. However, fate had other plans in store. Despite the intricate design and careful planning, SLIM found itself in a perplexing predicament. Instead of landing upright as intended, the probe inexplicably ended up face down, defying all expectations and baffling the team at JAXA. Speculation ran rampant as experts grappled with the enigma. Was it the result of an external force? Or perhaps a flaw in the meticulously crafted design? Until this conundrum was unraveled, the implications loomed large not just for JAXA, but for the future of space exploration itself. As the world awaited answers, the significance of this anomaly became increasingly apparent. SLIM's journey, initially intended to be a triumph of human ingenuity, had now become a tantalizing enigma, beckoning explorers and dreamers alike to uncover the truth hidden within the lunar landscape. What do you think may be the cause of SLIM's orientation while landing? Let us know in the comments below. JAXA's Milestones JAXA's reputation on the global stage started to increase after establishing strong partnerships with esteemed organizations such as NASA and the European Space Agency. The enhancement of the International Space Station was a noteworthy accomplishment. Japan has demonstrated its reliability as a collaborative participant in space exploration by pledging its support in constructing many modules for the Gateway Lunar Station. 
Amidst these circumstances, JAXA is diligently engaged in strategizing for its ambitious objectives. The upcoming slim landing mission represents just a glimpse of the exciting ventures in the pipeline. Notably, JAXA is gearing up for an imminent voyage to Mars. The Martian Moon Exploration spacecraft, slated for launch in 2024, will embark on a journey to study the Martian moons Deimos and Phobos, gathering invaluable samples and data to deepen our understanding of the Red Planet and its celestial companions. Its immense power is harnessed through seven formidable engines propelling the first stage, complemented by an additional two engines in the second stage. This impressive configuration enables New Glenn to propel nearly 50 tons of payload into Earth's orbit, marking a significant leap forward in space transportation capabilities. Anticipation mounts for the inaugural flight of New Glenn slated for approximately August 2024, poised to carry NASA's Escapade Mars mission into the vast expanse of space. NASA's decision to entrust this groundbreaking rocket with such a crucial mission underscores the agency's commitment to pushing the boundaries of exploration. Japan's Ambitions The forthcoming space expeditions are certain to be brimming with captivating prospects, owing to NASA's unparalleled probe excellence and launch expertise, as well as Japan's distinctive landing technology. The space exploration sector is seeing significant growth and engaging individuals worldwide. Ambitious Japanese objectives, Japan is aggressively engaging in space-related initiatives and forging strategic partnerships with the United States in response to China's expanding military and technological capabilities which now extend to space. Actively engaged in NASA's Artemis program, Japan aspires to dispatch one of its astronauts to the lunar surface, marking a significant milestone in its space exploration endeavors. Despite Japan's ambitious aspirations, JAXA has encountered various setbacks, Notably, a launch mishap in March involving its flagship rocket, the h 2 i designed to rival commercial providers like SpaceX in cost efficiency. Undeterred, JAXA remains resolute, highlighting its cutting-edge precision technology as a vital asset for future lunar exploration, particularly in navigating the rugged terrain of the Moon's poles rich with potential resources such as oxygen, fuel, and water. Looking ahead, JAXA envisions collaborative efforts with India planning a joint unmanned exploration mission to the lunar poles slated for 2025, underscoring its commitment to advancing lunar exploration and harnessing the vast potential of space resources. Thanks for watching. Stick around for the next video for more interesting content on the vexing science behind space exploration. We'll see you in the next video.